Hey everybody, welcome back to Growing Organic. All right, you can see here I got all my vegetables growing along this fence. Got some potatoes starting in this bucket, bok choy, carrots, beans, peas, kale. It's winter time here in San Diego and you can see there's not as much sunlight down onto my garden down here. In the winter time the sun is lower in the sky so you're not going to get as much uh, direct sunlight on your plants because of the angle of the sun. You can see there's like a line right here where the sun is hitting, right right here. So it's about 8.30 in the morning and we only have one area, let me just back up a little bit, one area that has sun on the entire backyard. So that is really limiting the amount of grow space that I have. And what we're going to do is try to expand that grow space and get more light hours, sun hours on these plants. Because down here, we have to wait a couple more hours for sun to even hit these kale plants down here. But these peas are getting, getting uh, sun right away. So what I want to do is try to maximize my grow space you can see up here along this whole fence on the top it's all sun so if i can get plants up higher off the ground that's going to be much better so always think about growing vertically get closer to the sun higher elevation in the sky because a lot of times there's houses um, apartment buildings that will be blocking your sunlight in the winter so what I'm going to do is, let me show you an example. I'm going to get a long piece of wood, and I'm going to set this right up here on this fence and create a shelf. I'm going to get a long piece, though, and um, you can see how much space I'll be able to have up here. I can put a lot of, like, one-gallon pots up here, and I'll just run this along board all the way along from here all the way to here and then I'm gonna also put one across here as well so this is just a scrap piece of wood just to show you but I'm gonna get a full length piece and then I'll put some screws through and this this will just hold itself up and then I could put a lot of these smaller plants Anything small that's starting out, here's some some flowers and stuff. We could set these up here. Okay, let me just show you. I got this clamped up here. So temporarily I'll have this I have this clamp here just to hold it and then I'll put some screws in through the top. But you can see now I have this whole extra space along here. Now I'm gonna get probably 10 or 12 feet of this board so we'll have a huge amount of square footage additional growth space to put more plants and clear up this this larger shelf down here because look at I can put five gallon pots on this shelf so those are about four feet off the ground these ones this one is about six feet off the ground so this is going to be getting up here probably two or three more hours of sunlight compared to down lower. So the lower you go, the less light. So always think, raise the elevation of your plants higher, closer to the sun. So let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to fill this in all the way around let me show you over here as well I have this top of this fence I literally just set them on top of the fence here I got another shelf here to grow things this has a little more shade here in the summertime that's a good spot though let me show you over here I even have more shelves see up here 
this is another way I connected it from the bottom so depending on your your situation of your fence or your wall will determine on how you're going to connect see down here these are just some um, tropical plants that I have see there's a shelf this is screwed in so we get a lot more square footage see up here this plant is getting sun already look at that already getting plenty of sun 8 30 in the morning so a lot of times if you don't have your plants up high enough they may not, may not get light at all whatsoever so you really want to look at the layout of your property and follow the sun the direction um, of the sun during the winter because it's going to change a lot now look at this shelf here from a side view I did a video on how to build these but the sun does go down at such an angle this time of year that it makes it really difficult unless you uh, have a big wide open space which I don't I live in the city in an urban area so we are kind of stuck to um, what we have here let me show you up here so there's the Sun we got a big building over here blocking the Sun the house is blocking and it's just coming up the Sun will kind of go across the sky like this Eventually, it'll get blocked right there from that tree, and then the sun goes down over there. So we have about six hours of good solid sun that we want to make sure we maximize that. All right, so let's get the tools and we'll put this up and create some more growing space. Now I'm going to get a full piece of wood going all the way across here, but I have a little brace here you can see. I'm going to put this and mount this right here. That's going to give this a little more support so there's not so much um, weight on the outside edge here. So I just cut that little angle and we'll mount that to that post. That'll give it some good support. Okay, let's go ahead and put that in. All right, so I got one more screw up here to put in. All right. And I put one screw over here. And if you can look up here, I put a little space against the fence. That gives me a little more width. Because this is only um, five and a half inches. You can see I, I gave it another half inch there behind. That'll give me a little more space to set these pots. Now this is a two gallon. So now you can fit a two gallon pot up here. So it's not gonna fall over. This is pretty stable. So I could put pots all the way long here. Set this this one up here oh, this is a two this one's too big let's see what else we can put up here put this up here and I got these little ones over here these are just one gallons so I can get up to two gallon two gallon pots There we go. So we can line this with plants. So just like this over here, you can see these ones are doing good up there in the sun. Let's see what else can I put up there? This one here. Let's see. Oh, I got some more down here. These are mostly flowers, but Let's see, I got one more. This stuff's kind of hidden back here. My peas here are getting kind of tall. I could move my peas to another location so it doesn't block the sun so much. But there you go.
more space in the winter time. As simple as just adding one piece of wood it only took me about five minutes. And look how many more plants I have, about six or seven of them up here with little effort and look how much more sunlight we're getting. That's a lot, a lot more hours ver versus being on the ground over here. All these plants aren't getting any sunlight and it's already about 9.30. Now these kale, see these are in a 15 gallon. I'm gonna have to move these probably to a different part of my yard where we're getting more sun. So right here, you can see this is starting to get some sun here. But up here is just full sun. We're going to get a lot of hours. So again, great way to expand your growing space, maximize how many plants you're growing in the winter time. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Hit that subscribe button, click like, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.